Let's Play! Hi there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Tooie Blind. Uh, we're still on live stream with people talking about, uh, talking about all sorts of stuff in the chat. So they're, they're having fun with that. So though, uh, we need to do stuff. What will be we actually be doing this part? I have no real idea. Um, <laughs> I think we have, because we have 49 jiggies. Which is a lot. We have 49 out of 90, it says. So we're almost more than halfway there. Like, well, no, we are more than halfway there. Uh, but we're not getting 100% of them because... I mean, I'm just... I'm just not getting a 100% playthrough. Okie dokes, though. So... We last beat those dudes. And now we're going to, uh... Let's go down this wall. Or not, that's cool. Or not. There I die. I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. How did I survive that? Okay, that's good. Um, but you might be a Musou fan and that's why you're LPing Hyrule Warriors. I am a Musou fan as well. But, you know, I'm also a Zelda fan. I played most of them. Um, funnily enough, I don't really care for Majora's Mask. Which I know a lot of people will hate me for. I just can't deal with stress. You're a Minjo. Oh, no, you're not. You might be a Jinjo. Can we, uh... What do we have that can get through there? I don't even know. Okay. If you've collected the fish on the fire side, I'd say to visit the igloo. Well, we got that fish. So let's go visit the igloo and hopefully not die in the process. Because we only have one, uh, one thing left. Might even just split up and uh, heal with the pack. Because that's back here, I think. Place is bigger than, than it looks. Uh, he is a Jinjo. You need Humba for him. Okay. Well, and we will not we will not be going there yet. So wait, where am I? Where is that? Where is that wall I was talking about? I need to find. These guys aren't dropping anything and it bothers me. Oh, Clockwork Kazooie eggs work on him? Okay. Go away. Go away! Let's try that then. Okay, so that's not exactly working yet. Um... Let's try and just shoot it way all the way in there. That's not far enough. Let's go like all the way. Oh god, he's spotting right by me. Oh, there's a thing. Let's see here. Ha! Huh! What? 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 Okay. Let's try this then. Let's shoot right, right, right into his face. We did it! We cheated! Hooray! I swear if you link Zone Runners, I will love you forever. I did link Zone Runners, because Zone Runners is the best album, like, well, the best artists, and I love their stuff. Oh, like, seriously, their, uh, their new album. They did give me a free copy of it with to promote it on the Sonic show, and, uh, oh god, do I love their music. Oh, it's so good. I don't like rap, but this Sonic-based smooth rap is just the greatest thing. It makes my loins moist in the best of ways. Okay, so this is where we have to go. Let me slide down here. That's the igloo. There's the igloo we were thinking about. Kill this guy and uh, possibly get more life. Or not, that's cool, jerk. Let's break this. Hop up. Hop up. Nice. That is definitely not a Jinjo. That is a Minjo. Plus that that ice block has lips, so it's it's also a that 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 ice block is a spy. Oh yeah, I forgot you were in the Sonic show. Yeah, that's kind of why why people watch me, period. It's you're fat now. Oh, he's fat now. Oh, 
Hello, Boggy. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has! It has, actually. 100 hertz of scanning. Dolby 5.1 surround sound. 9,999 channels. 15... S <laughs> three remotes. That's funny. That's, uh, that's really funny. Actually, that wasn't a Minjo. The one with the lips wasn't a Minjo. Really? Um... He's really hungry, what do you want? A big hot fish would be great! Does he have a barbecue? That's- Oh, I guess it's already barbecued! Why- Why did you eat that, sir? Oh, the fish must- Oh, no, the fish swallowed it! It's like mercury poisoning! Fair enough, but uh, fair enough, buggy, I'll add it to our collection! Be my guest, I got stuff to watch! He's watching. It's Mr. Pants! It's Mr. Pants! Guys! That's Mr. Pants! Okay, so. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, let me put the Mr. Pants on here. I'm gonna tell you the story of me and Mr. Pants. Okay. Okay, so. Here's the story. I had a big party at my place once. This was, um, this was, I'd say, this was after graduation. So everyone came over and we all, we all had a lot of fun and uh, it was great. But then after the party, for some reason, I found a Game Boy, but with everything ripped off of the Game Boy. Like I'm talking, there was nothing left on it. The buttons were like scratched down. It looked like something out of a creepypasta, okay? And I was worried. I looked at the game and the game had no... It had no sticker on it either. And so I was like, oh my god, this is like a freaking creepypasta. I turn it on and it's freaking it's Mr. Pants. And when you find a Game Boy with no stickers, all beaten up, with a blank cartridge with Mr. Pants, with, with it's Mr. Pants in it, I'm like, oh god. I am going to have a wider butthole by the end of the night. Like, this is bad. Um, but it ended up just being my friend, Sam's, and she's like, oh yeah, no, that's that's Mr. Pants. I keep it in there. And I'm like, that's terrifying. Why did you leave this at my house? She's like, I just totally forgot about it. But um, no, I, I had like a creepypasta moment in real life involving Mr. Pants, who is way scarier than any, any character from any sort of uh, anything else. So... That's my, that's my story about Mr. Pants. So, I hope you enjoyed it. It's also an ice TV. That's funny. Um, let's grab this jiggy before we forget. That is my Mr. Pants story. Some friend trashing something so beautiful. No, it's just, it was just worn out from use over the years. Like, this was an original Game Boy Advance, right? And she just, she took it with her everywhere on vacations around the world. And it was, it was just something that she was used to, you know? So it was, uh, that's, that's my Mr. Pants story. I'm glad I've finally been able to share it with, you know, correct context. Okay, though, but we need to probably use Boggy to weigh down the switch, right? Can we, is there a way to get him out of his chair or something? Am I correct in blowing up the TV? Nope. Um, let's see here. There must be a way to get him out, right? I'm gonna wait for you guys to answer. Can we, can we get Boggy out? Or is this just not a, it's just not a thing? Hmm. I'm gonna guess no for now. I uh, can't hear the game in the background anymore? Oh, no, he can't? Okay. Um, game should be in the background, like it's just, uh, I bruh, check my SoundCloud, I'll check it later, um, not right now, cause I'm streaming. Oh, here's the kids' rooms. The Banjo-Kazooie bed, you have a, oh, that's the mama's bed, and you have the other kids' beds, and there's a picture for a Freeze Easy Peak. Never mind, heard the attack. Guess the, yeah, the background's just really quiet. Boggy's wife's come here after you get the kids, but she doesn't do anything. Put on some music. Why would I put on some music? This game has music. You guys can't hear it. I can turn it up a bit if you'd like. There's like very quiet music in here. Okay.
Okay. So let's get this one that's apparently not a, uh... Oh, no! Hey, young man! I'm Mildred Ice Cube, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George! There was this terrible blizzard and was whisked off into the sky! So? Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him! Well, obviously that's not this world. I can hear it, please I can't. Try turning up your volume, Animation Cray. Like, it's... there's definitely music. Kill her. What? My SoundCloud is just literally reposts of Zone Runners in DJ Ear? Aw, oh, don't repost stuff, that's not cool. Do we actually just kill her? No, we don't kill her. Kill her, do it, how do I kill her? What are you guys talking about? How do I- Do I blow her up? OH MY GOD! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm a murderer! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! Guys! Guys, I feel dirty. That's... That's really depressing. That's like... That's not even funny, man. What's this area? I don't think we've been here. What's that? What the heck? What's he having his hand? That's not a jiggy. Something else entirely. How do we- how do we thaw him? Do we blow him up? No. How do we unthaw this dude? That- yeah, that's- that's, uh, Saberman, isn't it? I heard that he's a reference in here, but still, it's like... Um... There was a mumbo pad. Oh, right, I saw that mumbo pad, so we'll have to get him later. Okay, so let's try and get back over there without losing too much life. Which we can actually do pretty easily because it's right there. So, where should we go next, though? I'm still trying to figure out what else, what is, uh... Okay, well, there's a lot to do with Mumbo, so let's get Mumbo, because we, we've... Oh, well, okay, actually, first off, though, let's go get that ice pad. Um, now that you can head through the break in the wall by Humbas. Okay, so, yeah, we were just right there, really. Um... So, we'll actually go there and try and get the, uh... Thing that we just did. Come on. Come on, come on, Badjo. Badjo. Oh, there's a warp point! I love warp points. Um... So, the ice wall on the ground won't break until the alien does his thing. Okay, so yeah, we'll go revive the alien after we do... Let's get the, um... First off, this. Are we still not heavy enough? We are still not heavy enough, so obviously need a transformation. Um, but there is that one mumbo thing up there that I totally missed, so we're gonna go grab that. Then get mumbo, and play as mumbo. That sounds good. God, I've been at this for about two hours now, and I've got, what, two, three jiggies? That's not the part you're talking about. Oh, okay. So let's try and get this now with a slightly more better grasp. So now we can do... I think there's three mumbo things here? I think that path I mentioned is Humba's Globo, okay. So we'll look for the Globo then, because we can then get Humba's uh, thingy majig. Come on. Ugh. Come on, come on! Uh, let's see, we haven't gone over here. Oh, 
Ah, there it is. Nice. We'll grab you. And I guess we can't grab this yet. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Is that just a shortcut between Mumbo and Humba? Yep, I got that one. That was like, that's a, one of the first things I did. I can't break that, right? This is not something I can break yet. Can you can you guys confirm? It'd be nice if you could. It really would be. Don't eat another cracker in the meantime. These delicious Vita brand crackers, which is the best thing Sony's ever made. Correct. Okay, cool. It's a joke. They're they're actually they're called Vita crackers, but they're unrelated to Sony. Um but I mean, it's it's also a joke because the Vita is is kind of a joke, at least at the moment. It needs games. I don't have a Vita, that's why. Um, okay, so no, let's go get a uh, Mumbo. Let's do some Mumbo magic. I've heard that the um, the Xbox 360 version is a lot. Uh, it's sped up with the. Um, with how you, uh, like, like, there's, there's the lag and stuff that I'm always complaining about, how it's slowed down. Um, so that'd be nice if, if that's a thing. Don't forget, you can attack while shimmying. I actually did forget. Um, I don't have an Xbox 360, so I wouldn't be able to play it. I don't, I only have an Xbox, like, original. Two, actually. But, uh, no, it's, it's how it goes. So. Vita is love. Vita is life and cookies. That's actually... Crackers, not cookies. Very different. Okay, so, Mumbo, my bro, what's up? It's been like years since I talked to you. Yeah, let's take your help, bruh. Cool beans. But live in La Vida Loca. Oh. Oh, you did the thing that I didn't ever want to hear. Oh. Sorry, I'm gonna have to ban you now. Banjo in HD. Well, it's not really HD. It's just cleaner, if you will. Like, it's still the same. Oh, no, we're in here. We're gonna see each other. This is what is something actually gonna happen. Mumbo, not welcome! Leave now or be in big heap of trouble! Okay, sure, whatever. Fine. I have the Xbox uh, Live Arcade of Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and Perfect Dark. That's another game I got. I have Perfect Dark. My dad found a boxed copy for $10, so I have that game. Um, who knows? I might look at it one day. <laughs> Maybe. I do also have the expansion pack, so multiplayer is awesome. I remember playing multiplayer for- it was either that or Goldeneye, I can't remember. She took that calmly. Yeah, she kinda did. Mumbo Magic, let's go! Jump in her pool? Whoa! We'll see what that does on the way back. <laughs> You're dead. That's funny. Special powers. Okay. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So now do we break them or... Do we just... How do we actually get to them? That's the thing I'm wondering. Like, do we just... Do we have to... Oh, it's so cute! Do we actually have to use uh, some sort of... Attack on them that we possibly have? Oh, I actually didn't know Mumbo can hurt himself from falling. I guess that would only make sense, but... uh, You need to use the same pad again. Okay. 
Bill drill the ice now. The same pad again? Sure, we'll give that a try. After as when we get back, I want to try and get this one now. We can get up there. I hope. Yep, we can. Come on, Mumbo. Come on, Mumbo. There you go. You guys are talking about nuts and bolts in the chat. Again, I don't have an Xbox, so I can't can't even try it. I can always borrow friends, but why would I do that? Plus, I think if I were to do another collectathon after this, it would probably be Donkey Kong 64, which is a uh, build drill, then use the pad again, because it's um, you know, it's like Donkey Kong 64 is basically like a sequel-ish to this in terms of how it's laid out, which I've I've never played yet, and um, I bought new, sort of like it's it's sort of new, if you will. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. <laughs> this is a little video game joke. It's quite possible I come from a golden age where wolves were kings. The name's Saberman. Adventuring is my game. Or at least it was my game. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> what Cable Man doing? That's funny. Saberwolf chased me all the way here when I was frozen in my tracks by the Ice Dragon. Rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Okay, so we're going to warm him up. By the by, the room behind Saberman will be important later. Okay. Cool. Oh, the slow down. Urgh, it actually looks a lot better on stream than on my TV. <laughs> That's a problem. HD TVs make games look pretty bad. So. I think, though... I think I'm probably going to be calling it a part soon. Um, like, I'm not just calling it a part, but calling it a day for streaming. Um, I just, I don't know. I feel like I'm about done for now. We got that stuff, so we'll be doing that. We'll be doing more stuff later. I think um, Donkey Kong 64 was released between BK and this. Oh, I didn't know that. Very interesting. Yeah, no, I think with, uh, with 50 Jiggies and um, the rest of the stuff... Uh, let's let's take a look what happens when we go into her pool, and then I think we'll be calling it a part, calling it for a day. Um, no special transformation now. Sorry guys, I'm I'm a uh... mumble. Get out of pool. Oh, okay, that's that's not that's not that funny. Um, might as well check before stopping. I guess we'll um we'll go look at that that out, uh, overworld transformation you guys are talking about. Might as well. Uh, you know, for a last thing. So we will hop into our chair. And let's, uh... I'll probably be doing this tomorrow. Um... Maybe even a bit earlier. Um, who knows. Might be, uh... Ah, the stupid hands are still attacking me! Um, yeah, probably gonna be a bit earlier. You know, we'll see what happens. Also, getting N64 to look good on an HGTV is, is possible, but not easy. Yeah, there is ways. It's a bit lengthy. Ah, sure, we'll try. I have time for at least that. And patience. Mostly patience. Wrong way to Humbas. I'm not going to Humbas. I am going out of the world. You're talking about the overworld transformation, right? I actually don't really remember where it is. Ever played DK64 before? Nope, that's why I have a copy there, blind and ready to go. Okay, so where should I warp to? You guys are telling me where to go. I meant the Thumba transformation there, but your call. Ah, it's okay then. Uh, I think then that's enough. Well, um, you need the Mega Globo, but first an Ice Key. Oh, I know about the Ice Key. If you want the Overworld to transformation, that's a lot more work. Oh, okay then. That's fine. Thank you guys for watching, and, uh, we'll see you later. We'll be doing... We'll be doing the, uh, the Overworld one later. We'll see. I'm about done, though. I'm new to the whole streaming thing. I don't do it often, but I think we'll be uh, possibly doing it again tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. 
And um, if you missed parts or want to see it again, it'll be up on up on YouTube in the... Uh, Oh, pardon me. Oh, that's why I don't drink during the Let's Play either. Um, these will be up on YouTube sometime. Edited a little bit. We'll see. Um, thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.